So today I thought I would sit down and talk to you guys about some of my favorite beauty products that I've been reaching for since the last time you guys saw me here almost a year ago. A lot has changed. I've been pretty much reaching for the same products the last six to eight months, mainly because I, I just, I know what I like now as I'm getting older. I'm kind of just sticking to the products that work for me and not really trying new products that are coming out all the time. I can't keep up with all these companies coming out with products. And it's too expensive too. I, I just, I cannot be doing it. So I kind of just been using the products that I have in my collection, sticking to the products that I know I like and just been repurchasing those. So that's what I'm gonna talk, to about, talk about today with you guys. So let's just go ahead and get started because there is a lot that I wanna talk about. And everything that I am talking about will be listed in the description box down below. Let's talk about a hair tool that is a lifesaver for me, mainly because I have oily hair and I don't like washing it all the time. And this just allows me to go that day or two extra without washing it. And it's this tool right here. I did do a video a while back. I will have that linked down below. Go ahead and check that out because I do show you guys how I use this. And I just really like it because it's, it's really wide and it leaves a really pretty like beachy wave. You know, without making it look too crimpy, it just looks a little bit more natural. And I get a lot of compliments every time I use this tool. It's very affordable. I got mine on Amazon, so I will have it linked down below for you guys. So go ahead and watch that video because I'll show you guys how to use it. It's a little bit awkward at first because it is so big, but after you use it a couple times, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. Make sure you wear a glove because I burned myself like three times already. <laughs> Moving on to a couple skincare products. These two, I have noticed a really big difference actually in my skin tone, especially. This one is a holy grail face mask. I call this my Botox in a bottle because seriously, after you use this, your skin feels so tight and my wrinkles are, are not as bad on my forehead and my smile line and this shrinks my pores. So this is great if you have an event to go to, Wear this like the night before and your skin is gonna look so good. And it's so affordable. Did I say what it was? It is the Indian Healing Clay. And it is, I think it's under $10, I think. I mean, it's, it's been a while since I purchased it. I got mine off of Amazon as well, but like I said, Botox in a bottle, save your money. <laughs> And the other one that I've been liking is by Olay Hendrickson. This is the Glow Dark Spot Toner. This has glycolic and lactic acid, which I really like for my skin. It's just, it really helps like with your uneven skin texture, which I have a lot of like texture, especially around like my pore area because of the sun. And I do have some dark spots. Now I still have my dark spots from using this, but I have noticed that they have gotten lighter but it hasn't gone away. So I need to find a product that is gonna really help with my dark spots. <clears throat> I use that one at night mainly. So that is it for my skincare. So moving on to some makeup products. I guess I'll talk about my eyes first. Okay, um, I don't do a lot with my eyes. I did today for you guys. <laughs> so let's just talk about that first. This is the Carly Bybel palette by Anastasia, and the packaging is just beautiful. I wasn't gonna get this palette when it first came out, but I'm so glad that I did. The colors in here are beautiful. Oh, I just, I think it is so pretty. I don't play with a lot of color, but I mean, this, I feel like you can still get a pretty neutral look with some pop of color. It's nothing like too crazy. So that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I used, what did I use? I used Cindy and I used this Mo, this like gold color, so Cindy and Mo. And then I used this on my brow bone and by Belle, uh, which is a pretty mauve shade. Yeah, and that's what I used on my eyes today. And I think it's a great palette. I believe this was um, in the sales section at Sephora. If I can find it, I will link it down below. I, I believe it is limited edition. 
Another palette that is amazing, my friend Alex actually gifted this for me. It's the It Girl palette by It Cosmetics, and look at how gorgeous this packaging is. Now, if you're just getting into makeup and you want a good palette to start with for yourself, this is a good one to reach for because it is pigmented, but it's so easy to use, very easy to blend on the eyes. And it also comes with a blush, so I feel like it's a really good travel palette as well. I believe this is one of their top sellers, and I do own this in the single as well. Um, but yeah, it's got some just very neutral shades, nothing crazy, um, some pretty mauves and some cool, some warm, just an overall great palette, especially if you're a beginner in makeup. And usually like when I was working, not we're not working now, but when I was working, I would just do a really quick, simple, easy eye look and I got compliments every single time on what I was wearing on my eyes. I would put a bronzer in my crease whatever bronzer I was using that day, and then I would just reach for one of these single eyeshadows by Essence. These are the metal chrome eyeshadows. You guys, these are beautiful. This is one of their newest shades. It's called Golden Crown. But like, look at the, look at that. Like, look at that shine on that shadow. Very easy to use too, very easy. So I will just put the bronzer, in my crease, that all over the lid. Sometimes I'll add it underneath my lash line and people will be like, what is on your eyes? It's so pretty. That's what I was wearing. Um, another shade, Zinc About You, which is more on the mauve side. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but you guys, I'm telling you, like, like look at that. It's, oh, it's so good. And the other one is Ironic, which is more of a cooler tone. Beautiful, stunning, easy, quick. Highly recommend. And they're so affordable too. For the face, that's it. <laughs> These are the only two products that I've been reaching for probably the last six months or so. This one is by Dermalogica. It's the Skin Perfect Primer SPF 30. This is the professional side. We well, the salon I was working at does carry Dermalogica, so I was able to get it in the professional side, but I love this. It smooths, it smooths away fine lines, it brightens, it evens out skin tone, and it's really good for underneath your makeup. So I will use this as a primer, or I will just use it by itself on days when I'm not wearing any makeup. Beautiful product, highly recommend it. And it's good to wear an SPF, guys every single day. You know, you're going outside for a walk or you're playing with your kids or you're driving in the car. If you're using some skincare products, you want to make sure that those products are going to work for you. So you want to make sure your skin's protected from the sun so that you can see the results or else you're just defeating the purpose of your skincare. So make sure you wear your SPF. And this one is by Beauty Counter. I am not a beauty counter consultant, but I kind of wish I was because most of the products that I've tried I really really love. This is the Dew Skin. If I want a little bit more coverage, this is what I will use. That's what I'm wearing on my skin today and it just looks, it looks fresh. It adds a little bit of dewiness without looking oily and I do have combination skin especially in the summertime but as I'm aging, as my skin is aging, I feel like I need something with a little bit more dewiness so that it doesn't look so dry on the skin but I highly, highly recommend this. Beauty Counter has some amazing skincare and some really great makeup, and I do have like a few makeup uh, products that I'm gonna talk about in this video, but I really love this. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. It's a really great product. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Let's move on to concealer. Two concealers that I've been trying to use up, but I have repurchased both of these twice. The first one is by Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea. I don't know if they're gonna be carrying this. I have noticed that they have a new one on the Sephora website and I did not notice this one. So I don't know if they replaced it with something else. But if you like something with a light to medium coverage, something every day, or if you're in your 20s, early 30s, you don't have a lot of wrinkles underneath your eyes, then this one is a great one. It just looks really fresh and dewy underneath the eyes. 
just very, very natural. So I love this for every day. And I am wearing this one today in case you guys are wondering. If I want a little bit more coverage, I didn't drink enough water the day before and I have some dark circles underneath the eyes, I will reach for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout. This is a full coverage concealer and this is beautiful. It is so blurring underneath the eyes and it doesn't crease and it and I like to bring my concealer down just slightly around here because of my pores. And this just blurs my pores really nicely too. So I like this. Sometimes I will even use this as a foundation. I kind of just put it everywhere <laughs> and add some powder and I'm good to go. It's a really nice product. Okay, uh, bronzer. I've gone through three bronzers in the last six months. Yes, I gone through. Okay, so the three I've gone through, I've gone through the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Bronzer, I believe it's called, and the Tarte Sweets, Sweet Tea or something like that. You know, the one that, with the heart shape? That's a, a very nice one. So I decided to pull this one out and it's uh, by Hourglass. This is in the shade Diffuse Bronze Light. I did also use up, actually, that reminds me, I did use up Luminous Bronze Light, which is my all-time favorite bronzer, but that one wasn't... Not everybody likes that one because of the color. It is a bit warmer than the diffused one. This one's a lot more cooler. So that is what I have on today. So if you don't like that one, definitely uh, try the diffused. This one is just beautiful. It's, I just, I love the way they look on the skin and they just blend and it never looks like, it doesn't ever look powdery on the skin. It's a beautiful bronzer. For blush, three blushes on rotation. One is by the drugstore. It's the Burt's Bees Blush in Shy Pink. This is really the only pink in my collection that I actually reach for. It's a beautiful formula. It's got good pigmentation. It's got good lasting power. And this is just a beautiful shade. There's only three colors. I do own all three of them. I'm hoping that one day they're going to extend their range. It is a bit more... It's pricier than most um, blushes at the drugstore, but I do think that this one is worth it. To me, it's it almost it's almost like a high end blush in my opinion. Another one from Beauty Counter. Like I said, they have such great products, but if you want to get into their makeup and you want to try at least one thing, I would start with their blushes. Their blushes are beautiful. The formula is so nice. They're pigmented. They blend really well. They have a really great um, color range. This one's in the shade Date. It looks a little dark, but honestly, you guys, I think anybody can wear this blush. Um, you can lightly put it on without, oh, actually, I'm not wearing this one today, but even if you have light skin, just lightly dusting it on, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful. It's such a nice color, and the formula is really nice. Like, like look at that, but blend it out. Oh, it just adds a really pretty color. It's a good blush that goes with a lot of looks, but that's it, blown out. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Highly recommend their blushes. And the last one is by Patrick Ta. I saw him use this on one of his models and he highly recommended it. I think it, he said it was his favorite and it's in the shade She's Seductive. Another color that looks really dark in the pan, but these are not that pigmented, you guys. This you can just really build up the color, which I don't mind. I actually prefer blushes that I can build up so that I don't look too much like a clown, like I added too much. Although I don't know if too much is bad because <laughs> I really love blush. But this is a beautiful, beautiful color. Really great for the summertime. And this is the one that I am wearing today. It just, I don't know. I really, really like it. It's really, really pretty. So I do like that. And the packaging is beautiful. That is it for blush. Highlight. Another favorite of mine. Oh, I love highlights so much. I'm actually wearing both of these. So that's why I'm so blingy today. I wanted to be blingy for you guys. <laughs> so the first one that I have on is the Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop in Flexitarian. I've heard a lot of people talk about this, so one day I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. And I've been really into more like cream products, especially for highlight. I just feel like it looks really nice on the skin, especially aging skin. But this is a beautiful, beautiful color, you guys. 
It is so stunning. So that's what I have on underneath. And on top, I have my all-time, my all-time favorite highlighter. If I can only live with one highlighter, this is the one that I would live with for the rest of my life. It is the RMS Beauty Illuminating Powder in Grand Dam. There's only three shades. This is the lighter shade. It is so beautiful, you guys. I, and the packaging, like, I just, I love how sleek the packaging is. It's got natural ingredients in there. I do believe RMS is organic. Uh, I'll have to check on that. But it is, it is stunning, stunning, stunning. And that is what I have on top. So lastly, we have lips. Now, I have to tell you guys, I do not wear liquid lipstick anymore except for one. <laughs> and I will talk about that. But I got rid of all my liquid lipsticks. I do not own any liquid lipsticks at all anymore. I just, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the formula. It's, it's too drying, it looks too chapped, and as I'm getting older, I like something that is a little bit more glossy and a little bit more natural on the lips. But this one by Patrick Ta is beautiful. It's more of like a creamy formula, and this is in the shade She's Independent. So pigmented, they feel really good on the lips. Um, so that's what it looks like there. Beautiful, it's not one of the darker shades. I believe there's four or five. I believe it's like the second darkest, but I, I really, really like the formula of that. And his glosses are really nice too. I do reach for a lot of, I have two glosses of, glosses of his that I really like. The other lipstick that I've been loving is the Lawless line. So they came out with a bunch of new lipsticks and this is in the shade Fawn. A really nice formula. This is the one that I am wearing today. I'll just swatch this for you guys. So a bit lighter, a bit more pinky as well too. Beautiful formula, highly recommend those. These two glosses, the only ones I've been pretty much reaching for. This one especially, this is the Fenty Beauty in Diamond Milk. I mean, I'm not gonna talk too much about this because it's all over the makeup community. Everybody loves this formula. I just really like this because it does look really nice on its own. Your lips look really juicy. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it. And that is what I'm wearing on top of the Lawless lipstick. And the last one is by Beauty Counter, another beautiful formula. This one has, well, it's pretty, well, it's a bit thicker than the Fenty glosses, but this is a beautiful shade. It's in the shade Bare Shimmer, I believe. Yeah, Bare Shimmer. So there it is right there. The only thing I do have to say about the the beauty counter glosses is I don't like the packaging because it gets around the rim. So it gets a little bit dirty. That's the only thing I don't like, but I do really love the formula and it looks really good on the lips. That's it guys. Those are all the beauty products that I wanted to share with you guys today. If you enjoyed this video and you liked the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. I would love to have you guys here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.